Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and a very special welcome to our ASAC conference guests. We're so glad you could join us today. Let's give yourself a round of applause. Thanks for being here. We're so glad you could join us today for our C Line presentation. My name is Liv. I'm one of the keepers here at Northwest Passage and Tea Time Track. I have the rest of my team out here on exhibit with me, and we have five of our California Sea Lines that call the Zoo home that are going to do a little bit of showing off for all of you today. So we'll start things off by introducing the group. So right up right here, working with Kylie, is Tiva. Tiva is our youngest sea lion here at the zoo, at four years old. In fact, Tiva was born right here at Memphis Zoo just four years ago. So as you can imagine, with a four-year-old, we've all worked with baby animals before, as you know, a four-year-old of any species, focusing for 10 to 15 minutes can be a challenge. So our shows are a little bit shorter when Tiva's out here, but we're still very excited that she is out with us learning all of the behaviors that are incorporated in our sea lion shows. Now, right in the middle, working with Travis, is our oldest sea lion here at the zoo, Skimmer. Now, Skimmer actually celebrated her 30th birthday in June. So we're very excited that we have Skimmer out here with us. Now, being 30 years old, Skimmer is officially retired from our shows, but she does still love to come out and have a lot of fun, and she does continue to learn new things each and every day. So So he was down in Gulfport when the hurricane hit. His home was destroyed, and Andre was actually missing in an estuary for about two weeks. Now, luckily, some folks from Fish and Wildlife Services found him, and we were the closest facility that could take in an animal of his size. So, of his size. So that is how Andre came to live with us here at the zoo. So he's been here for just about 11 years now. Now, all the way down at the end, working with trainer Caitlin is Chloe. Now, Chloe is actually Skimmer's. Sister. She's also one of our older girls here at 28. Now, again, she is also officially retired from our sea lion shows, but she does love to come out, show off, and have a lot of fun. Now, working up at the front with our other trainer, Kim, is Callie. Callie is 14 years old. Now, Callie is the mom of Tiva. Right now, Callie is weighing in at just about 200 pounds. So, that's our group here that we have out here with us today. Now, like most of you, the most important behaviors that we train with our sea lion are those husbandry behaviors, especially with a geriatric group. Now, Skimmer and Andre, that 30-year-old and that 22-year-old, actually had eye surgery not long ago. Andre's was back in February of this year, and Skimmer's was in October of 2014. So, like many pinnipeds under human care, the most common problem they get as they age is eye problems. They can get something we call luxative lenses. Now, that's actually when that little lens in their eyeball becomes detached and floats around. Now, they can't focus light, it's hard to see, it doesn't feel very comfortable. So we have some really incredible veterinarians that specialize in these surgeries to actually remove those lenses. So that's what Skimmer and Andre both had done. Now, pre-surgery, we were able to be creative with their training. We took a lot of their hand signals, made them um, tactile, so we were actually communicating with them solely through touch when they have trouble seeing. But now, as you can see, they do a great job getting around. So some of the key behaviors that we train before these surgeries were squeeze cage, voluntary hand injections, anesthesia cone, anything that we could think of or our vets could think of that we would need for either pre-surgery or surgical behaviors, we try to do voluntarily. So these guys all have ultrasound, EKGs, all sorts of really cool stuff that we were able to get these guys to participate in with us. Now definitely come on after today's show. We'd love to talk to you more about that. If you have any further questions about that, again, we'd love to talk to you, so come on down and ask. Now, of course, as part of our sea line shows, we want to incorporate the fun stuff as well. And we do that through the use of our highlighting our sea lion's adaptation. So they have those amazing whiskers, those strong, sensitive whiskers that out in the wild they would use to sense fish. Here at the zoo, you'll see them do some fun stuff with these whiskers here in just a couple of minutes. They also have those big, beautiful front flippers that they use to swim and maneuver through the water, and those beautiful, sleek, and streamlined bodies. So you're definitely going to see a lot of really fun stuff from our sea lions utilizing those adaptations as well. We also definitely want to send a message of conservation. We like to let our guests know what they can do in their own community to help wild sea lions. One of those awesome things that most communities participate in are recycling programs. Now, of course, our sea lions here are conservationists as well, so they want to do their part as well. Tiva's going to give you a little demonstration. That's just what you can do, right, Tiva? All right, Tiva's ready to go. So, Kevin's going to 
let her know. Tiva, can you help us clean up this dirty pool for us? There she's got it. And right where it needs to go, hand recycling. Nice job, little Tiva. Well, folks, we know you came to see our sea lions have some fun, and that's, of course, what we'd love to do now. Invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy watching our sea lions have some fun.